Welcome, all. Development perspectives for geoethical thought that means to sketch geoethics as a contribution to understand the human condition. Following Hannah Arendt, the concept of human condition claims to englobe experiences, characteristics and limitations of life shared by all humans as distinct from other life forms. To set off, I offer five references. First, the structure of the talk, from emergent tenants via context to extrapolations. Second, a statement about judging developments, namely the choice between care and neglect. Third, a statement about methods, namely the function of philosophy in geoscience. Fourth, a parameter what to include into geosciences. Fifth, an illustration of the societal role of geoscientists. I will read only number five. Please let it sink in. No anthropogenic climate change would happen without geoscientists finding coal, oil and minerals, or forecasting weather for shipping commodities around the globe, estimating natural hazards for infrastructure or stability of foundations of buildings, etc. Geoethics is an emergent specific subject in geosciences. However, elsewhere the notion geoethics is applied with different meanings. To understand the scope of geoethics, one should view geosciences in its societal context, namely overlying the intersections of culture, economy and engineering. As a school of thought, Geoethics' most central tenet is about the virtues of the human agent, namely to be a responsible individual who pursues a practice that is geoscience knowledge-based, just, equitable, inclusive, participatory and ecological oriented. Geoethics can be situated at the intersection of sustainability ethics, environmental ethics and professional ethics. If situated in that configuration, Geoethics supports professionals that apply geoscience expertise. Hence, at the first instance, geoethics is about responsible geosciences. However, geosciences and geoethics are products of European cultural models to sketch a development path. The European post-medieval societies engaged with scientific studies of Earth. To merge science, research, engineering, economy and applied ethics into a massive societal venture. To shape global hegemonic societal practices and to mobilize gigantic physical, mental and economic resources. Within the development of European cultural models, science evolved from an undertaking of a minuscule elite to a massive societal endeavor. Subsequently, the ethics of science gained relevance as the ontology and societal feature. In that context, the ethics of geoscience is a recent field. As analysis shows, the concepts that underpin geoethics draw on Western cultures only. Geoethics draws on Aristotelian and Kantian models focusing on the human agency. Initially, geoethics was about professional ethos and responsibility concerns. That is, how geoprofessionals situate themselves in professional contexts. Hence, geoethics is of European origin. Why is this relevant? In the first instance, because cultural models are about identity. Also, they determine a track of thoughts and shape the methodological tools. Furthermore, they shape what is perceived as horizon, that is, how the world ought to be. Such insights lead to the 7 billion plus question, namely, what in times of anthropogenic global change, geoethics does describe, a hybrid concept of a global culture and a planetary nature? Extrapolating. The term geoethics labels a manner of philosophical thinking at the intersection of sustainability ethics, environmental ethics, and the ethics of societal practices of citizens. Second, the ethics 
of societal practice of citizens includes the professional ethics of geosciences as an important subcase. That variant of professional ethics is the foundation for the sound societal application of the geosciences. As sketched above, geoethics helps to understand the human condition, namely to englobe the experiences, characteristics and limitations of life shared by all humans, as distinct from other life forms. Thank you.